Today, we're diving into the art of sorting colors in a floral font from Artiply. Many are curious about how to sort colors in Embellience Express, and in this video, I'll strive to show and explain in the simplest way possible how to achieve this. There are various fonts out there, with over 6,000 interesting designs available for exploration. It's important to understand that the floral font is one of the most complex, so patience is key. We'll start by typing a word we wish to embroider, which in my case is beautiful. This word needs to fit within a 10-inch hoop. On the right-hand menu, you'll find various options, including one to adjust the spacing between letters. I initially reduced the spacing automatically, but it turns out a bit more manual adjustment is necessary. This is easy. Simply click on the letter you wish to move and shift it. It's a simple task of two clicks, and you can similarly adjust the subsequent letters. I allowed myself to narrow the design by a whole inch, which is less than 10% of the total design size, thus preserving the design's integrity and its beautiful appearance. It's important to note that this floral font is among the most complex, with more colors than most other fonts. I recommend giving it a try once, and you'll find that it becomes much easier and straightforward the next time around. Right now, I'm in the process of shrinking down the design, pulling it together. See, it's being reduced to fit within a 10-inch size, which means the reduction is less than 10%, ensuring that the quality remains preserved. I also wanted to try embroidering this design in calm, monochromatic tones. It would look great in that style as well. With the word prepared and the multitude of colors visible, it might seem daunting. But worry not, as we're about to sort the colors. First, save the design you've just created as a working file. I recommend doing this in case anything goes awry and you wish to revert to a modifiable and reprintable file. With our copy saved, right-click on our Word. A menu will appear under the cursor with an option to copy, but instead, we'll convert our Word into stitches. Now, in the right menu, we'll see an option to view all our elements. Click on the plus sign as shown in the video. It's now time to sort these colors, which is straightforward. Click on the first color, and from the list, select all colors with the same name, holding down the Ctrl key to keep everything highlighted. Once all similar colors are selected, right-click to bring up a menu, with the option to move all selected colors. I recommend moving them to the top. You can also drag and drop the selected colors. I decided to combine all green shades into one. To do this, select a green shade and press one color, then choose the shade you prefer. Continue with the next color, holding the Couturel key. Now, select the blue shades, hold the key, and move them in the color menu to stitch right after the green. Dark blue elements in the design are gathered and stitched after the blue. The flower centers, which are light pink, are grouped and moved to stitch after the blue. The outer contours of the flowers, dark pink and clearly visible, are gathered, holding the DRL key, and moved to stitch next. This whole process of sorting by colors may take up to five minutes initially, but it becomes very easy with practice. Remember, the floral font is the most complex of all, always featuring numerous colors and shapes. I have over 20 years of experience in digitizing embroidery and always strive to find the most optimal solutions for embroiderers. Artiply has a multitude of satisfied customers and consistently receives positive feedback. I recommend visiting and viewing the customer photos who are happy to share their work. Many have built successful businesses using Artaply designs. I hope you enjoy embroidering and that all your creations achieve high popularity. Finally, once everything is sorted, save your file in the format required by your embroidery machine. For embroidering this font, I recommend using a stabilizer suitable for your project, adding an extra layer of tear-away stabilizer, and using a water-soluble topping. This ensures the threads don't sink into the fabric surface, keeping the embroidery voluminous and the flowers more pronounced. 